So uh, once I get this, I have to bind it. Somehow I have to make the call to that page, right? So that is done using the dojo.io.bind method. Okay. Just to start off with, what I I'll do is here, right here. Okay. I'm. If you can call it importing, I'm just using that. I'm using three methods or three classes uh, to be precise. Dojo.io that handles all the HTTP requests and response. Okay. Dojo.event that handles all the event handling functions such as this one. Okay. This. When I'm saying the type, this is the type that I'm talking about referring to. If there are no errors, this type indicates load. If there is an error, this type is equal to error. Okay. So it does, see it's, and this is also known as configuration by default. Okay. Um, the Java world must be familiar with this because there is a lot of configuration by default when we talk about EJBs and all that stuff. So the same thing comes over here. You, you just have to write type, you leave the rest on the default. Okay, you don't do anything else. So once you get that request, okay, you're basically doing a request to this page, right? So once you get this request, I have to fire some method that populates it, okay? Because my so my J JSP page will be returning something to me, okay? It will return some kind of text in the form of JSON, as I've shown over here, okay? So in the form of JSON, so when you're my JSP page, I'll just show that to you right away. Okay, this is the page that gets called. Okay. Excuse me, sorry, my open with. No. Okay, I get over here. So this is how you get the uh, in the Java technology in GSP or in servlets. In your request object, you have something called get parameter. That is in your HTTP headers. It is not visible to us, but it goes to the HTTP HTTP headers. From there, I'm fetching the book ID. Okay. So while I hover over that book name, it passes the book ID. Okay. It comes over here. It gets me that particular book that I want to display, okay, and it does outdoor print ln, okay, if you think that this outdoor print ln, it should just display the string as it is in the form of text slash, uh, text, uh, text slash, uh, say plain, this does not happen, because we have said mime type, our mime type over here, I my mime type I have specified as text slash json. If had we done this with XML, it would have been text slash XML at the server side. Okay. And so in this case, I'm doing it using text slash JSON. So I'm getting an E valuable that is known as E valuable. So when you do this, everything gets in the form of name and value pair. Okay. Everything comes in the form of name and value pair. And it stores in something called data. Okay. So whatever I'm sending over here, in this case, I'm sending the complete object that I am converting into a JSON string. So again I will recollect what I said earlier. That JSON, the complete object has four uh, members. That all the members has corresponding values to it. And that name and value pair goes through this format. It comes to this page again. Okay. Once it comes over here, this is some simplest thing that does. Basically I am saying that once it gets connected, call this method. So when you connect to a method in Dojo, you have to pass three parameters. One is your type, data and the EVT, that is the event object. Okay. EVT is your event object, data is the complete data that has just been sent to you in the form of a JSON string. Okay. And that goes over here. So now if I want to get the ISBN number, it is just one dot away data.isbn and data.author. I'll just show you the example again. Okay. It's lagging. I'll just show that. It shows me ISBN number. It shows me this. Okay. And what I've done is I've done a sysout over there in this book dot 
GSP, I've done a sysout. So let's look at this, how it shows me the relationships, okay? So I come over here. So I say crime and punishment. Select, and then I go to the server. Look at this. The author ID is one. The title, so one, your book ID, your title, your ISBN number, and the author are four members of my class. Okay, that class has setters and getters. Okay, I have done some settings. I have set all the values when I created my objects in Book Manager, and once I did that, I passed it as a JSON string. Okay, and it comes in the form of e valuable string that they call it in the Java, uh, JavaScript world. Okay, so now if I just want to display something, I'll say data dot ISBN number. It displays this to me because this complete from book ID from this starting semi -curly, um, curly basis to this basis, this complete I guess you can call that a string into your data. Okay, data variable. So now if I just want to display something, I'll say data dot ISBN number. Data dot title. See, look at this. I am doing book ID. I do this. Comes over here. That's it. Any questions? Any doubts? I guess you can use another example in this case is, for instance, you just want to create new new customer form. Okay, you just say on submit. Okay, when you submit, obviously you have to pass something to the headers. So in that case, you are this thing. Uh, where is that? Okay, instead of content, what you will write is form node. There's a keyword called form node, and you'll get all these lists in the. Uh, um, I think it's on the JSON.org website. You'll get the list of all the parameters and the names associated. So. Uh, no, 